everybody welcome back to Jimmy's promo and today I'm going to show you guys how you're able to go from that default to shortcut application on the lock screen into having it up to five or six. So how you're able to get this done is you want to download an application that is called Goodlock. Now I know a few of you watching this video is always stating that you can't download Goodlock, it's not in your country. I know some people have used VPNs to download Goodlock, and I also know some people has been using an application called NiceLock. Now because I'm already here in the United States, I can't really do a trial and error to figure out which is the best way to do it. So those are the really the only two things I can suggest, unless if there's anybody who knows a little bit more specifically and they write it in the comments. So first off, for anybody who's able to download Goodlock, uh, you want to go inside of your Samsung folder and go inside of the Galaxy Store. So inside of the Galaxy Store, this is where you search for Goodlock. Once you have Goodlock downloaded, you want to open this thing up. And the application that you want to play with is called Lockstar. So if you can find Lockstar APK off of a Google search off the internet somewhere, and you can download Lockstar and if it works on your phone, this is the one that you need to use. So Lockstar is a way that you're able to customize your lock screen. On the very bottom, you can change your timeout. You can have it as default, which I believe is about five seconds. I switched mine to 15 seconds, just so this way, if I needed to double look real quick, I can still catch it before the time runs out. But you wanna go inside of edit lock screen. Now, one thing that you are able to change inside of items is this help text. So this is one thing you can turn off if you don't need it to say, hey, use biometrics to unlock your phone because you already know you need to use biometrics to unlock your phone. You're able to turn off that help text, but this is the one that you wanna select. Shortcuts default, and you wanna move it over into shortcuts multiple. Now, if you want no shortcuts at all, you just want a plain simple screen, uh, very minimal, you can do this. But again, you wanna to toggle this one to multiple. You wanna to tap on the screen, and then now you want to tap on those four little squares. Now this is where you want to go in and you want to add in your applications. Now you might be noticing that this one says adding of five, my other phone had six. And it might be the way that I have my, my uh, home screens and lock screen grids set up on my, on my Note device where I had more slots available. But this is where I'm gonna show you how you can get the, all this stuff done. So let's go, I'm gonna do messages, I'm gonna do phone. These were already there by default, but now I'm gonna add in three more. So I use YouTube all day. I also love using Duo. But then the other thing uh, that I play with a lot is either gonna be camera or it's probably gonna be YouTube music. You know what, I might actually turn off Duo uh, and then I'm gonna go down to YouTube Studio so I can check out all of my stats. So you can see I'm pretty stacked up with YouTube between my video content, music content, and then checking out my own content on how it's doing. So now I'm just gonna hit on apply and then I wanna hit on save. Now that we have this one set up the way that we want, I'm gonna go through, let's say it timed out. I'm gonna go through here. I'm gonna tap on these little, uh, that little square and let's open up uh, YouTube. Now, you still need to go through your credentials, so if you look at your phone, it's gonna go right into the application right away. Uh, so if you're already holding onto the device, it's gonna go pretty quick. Uh, or you can type in your PIN, or you can also use your other biometric, which is your fingerprint. So now we're gonna go inside of YouTube Music, put in my fingerprint, boom, it's already open, ready to go, and ready to listen to some music. So I hope that you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe. Subscribe right over here in the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.